Still sports this morning, the show must go on indeed and uh, of course uh, we'll be taking a look at uh, uh, the All Africa Games or the Africa Games, so I keep saying the All Africa Games. It, it takes a while. It, it takes a while, it's really taking, but it should be sinking in by now. But mm -hmm. anyway, uh, it's at uh, the Africa Games in Brazzaville, Congo. It's no longer news that Nigeria came second overall on the medals table and we're definitely looking at uh, the future, um, both the immediate and of course uh, uh, you know, basically a review. Yeah, basically a review. You know of uh, what uh, lessons uh, have been learned and what we should be doing uh, as a country uh, to uh, push forward. Just like Austin was saying uh, earlier in the course of uh, the show. Well, um, guys, for the uh, games, well, uh, like we always say, uh, good performances in some of the sports and uh, some of the events that we uh, participated in. Uh, I definitely want to look at a bad minting. Uh, even though we didn't really get uh, some, you know, a whole lot of medals in that one, uh, no gold. Well, uh, we could manage some uh, well, silver well, uh, today. And, uh, and some bronze medals. Mm. All right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's. I think it's fair for bad for bad for bad meeting, uh, uh, because aside from the Lagos International Classics, we didn't get to hear mm -hmm. so much about bad meeting, mm -hmm. and then uh, that's one federation that trying to even get coaches and the administrators to talk is mm -hmm. a lot of work. Um, but going to the African Games, getting one silver and um, uh, four bronze medals shows mm -hmm. that the prospects for the sport. Um, Let's, let's, we're being joined now by the captain of Team Nigeria, talking about badminton. His name is um, Ebenezer. Ebenezer Fagbemi joins us now. Um, he's in Abuja. Ebenezer, good to have you on the show. Good, good morning, Dolphin and uh, Ayotunde. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Ebenezer, we're, we're taking a look at badminton and uh, the performance of Team Nigeria at the just concluded African Games. You think we could have done better? Yes, yeah, we could have done better just at the end of the iteration. But the sports ministry, they were very trying to help. They give us the right equipment and everything. But it's just that we have a late preparation. That's what happened. Or like four years ago, we encamped for like six months. And we attend like four tournaments before the tournament and the All African game. But this time around, we don't have that opportunity to attend some tournament before the All African game. And other countries, they have been preparing since last year. They even have a foreign coach. So what do we expect? That's not what we met in the All African game. Mm. No medals in the, me in the men's singles. No medal again in the women's singles. And we have quality players um, as you and even Jim Campbellos. What's wrong um, with the quality of players that we have in terms of um, going to championships as the African Games and win medals? Uh, actually, Jim Kemplu has a little uh, name problem, so we had to like rest him for single that you can concentrate in the doubles, and we won the bronze in his doubles. But we have a young player that come up as well. He have a bronze in his main single. Then the lady have a sleeve on in the lady single. That's why. All right. When you look at um, you know badminton as it is presently in Nigeria, well, um, you talked about uh, having it uh, quite uh, you know a, a good experience four years ago with uh, loads of time to prepare and all of that. But it seems as if the, the, the reverse was the case. But from your own perspective, are we really getting it right in terms of you know churning out talents for badminton? And um, you know, let's see that uh, uh, we have a whole lot of uh, young. Athletes, or, you know, badminton players coming through. Yeah, actually, in the country we have a younger player, but the only thing that there's no the lack of tournament, because if there's no tournament, there's no way you can discover the young one. So we need more tournament, and sport ministry need to assist us why for the young um, talent to come up. Sir, they should not live only for the association to do it. Association has been doing it a lot for four years now. So the association need the uh, help of a ministry at least to discover the young one. Okay, uh, you gave us a hint quite earlier, but um, you have the opportunity. What, what do you think you need as players? You, know, you talk about support for the federation, but, but as players, what, what do you think? What, what do you think you need to ensure that um, you get the best? Uh, what country is living in now? If the, if the, if there is a tournament from there, they can select some good players. At least take them abroad for like training program like six months, they, they come back. If they come back, they can add them to the one in the country to train together. 
those ones that do not have opportunity to travel, they can have gain some experience from them too. So it will make the game grow as well. Because that's what other countries do in Africa. They travel abroad too. Meeting and uh, and federation as well for all the federation which is having that one to really really going to help the game. Mm. All right, what are your expectations uh, uh, or what do you need to do to be to be in Rio? What are what are your projections? Let me put it that way. What do you need to be in Rio? Uh, the projections for the future. Uh, with what um, DG promised us, I think we have a future for the game because with that one, I don't think we'll go to anywhere. But for the new, um, the bar meeting can go up now. Well, also you mentioned the, the foreign coach issue. Um, I was trying to go low on um, the quality of the technical crew that took um, Team Nigeria to the games. I've heard um, talks about uh, players asking one or two questions as regards coaching. Is coaching a problem for the development of badminton in Nigeria? Uh, I don't think it's coaches. They are doing their best. And as Nigeria, Nigeria need to, the country need to send coaches to abroad to upgrade them and for refreshment course. Not okay. only just leave them, they need to help the coaches too. Okay, thank you so much, Ebenezer, for speaking to us on the show. Uh, we, we appreciate your time. So that's it, Ebenezer um, Fagbemi is the captain of Team Nigeria, uh, talking about badminton. They got a silver medal and three bronze medals at the just concluded African game. So guys, um, I, I, don't, I wanted to say before we, we, we got on to Ebenezer that it's not fair to, to judge some of this um, you know, sports by what they want at the African games. Yeah. It would be good to put in perspective the quality of the uh, preparation that they had uh, and also how well we've done it, 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 you know, in times past, in those kind of, yeah, like you know, before you can really, ago, you know, because was... you're you tempted to say you didn't win any gold. Mm. And, and, you know, it, it makes you, mm. you know, I just think we should put that in, in perspective. And, and he, has laid, he has laid it down, you know, quality preparation, they did not get that, maybe coaching. I think what we also shouldn't be shy of doing is letting them know that they can get better. Even if you didn't do well. Yeah, that's why I was like, saying, like, that, you know, cycling, you gold, like cycling, I'm sure. They will say to themselves, when Nigerians appreciate the sports, well, almost all of us can ride a bike. Yeah. Most Nigerians can just pop on a bike and just use it for a cheap exercise. But we're not doing so well with it. Swimming, we're not doing so well with it. Um, gymnastics, they got a bronze medal. Just even participate, participating at the championship. It's a plus. It's, it's a plus. It's a good springboard, springboard for you to go back and assess yourself. And that's what we're trying to do right here. Tell these federations that don't wait till the next African Games. Mm.